Hi YouTube. In this video, I just want to do a really simple example of cosets. So this here is called the Klein four group. Okay, it has four elements. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, E is the identity. Um, so you know, A E is equal to A. Uh, B E is equal to B. Uh, C E is equal to C. Likewise, E A is equal to A. E B is equal to B. And E C is equal to C. So E is the identity. Um, every element has order two. So if you take any element and multiply it by itself, you get the identity. So for example, A A is E, so A squared is E, uh, B B is E, and then C C is also E. And if you take any two distinct non-identity elements and you multiply them together, you get the other non-identity elements. So for example, if you do A B, you're going to get C. Um, if you do A C, you'll get the other one, the other non-identity elements. So B. If you do BC, you'll get A. And multiplication here is commutative. CB is also A. So it is an abelian group. So in this video, we're going to look at cosets. Okay, we're going to look at cosets. So now you know how the multiplication, multiplication works, let's just take a simple example. Let's take a cyclic subgroup. Let's take the subgroup, which we'll call H, generated by the element A. So this is all of the powers of A, right? All of the powers of A. So, um, E is always in that subgroup by definition. It's a subgroup, has to contain E, right? And then A times A is going to be um, E. So, and it has to contain A, obviously. And that's it, right? Because if you do A times A times A, you're going to get um, A squared A. But A squared is E, so you get EA, so you just get A. And if you do A times A times A times A, that's A to the fourth, right? You're just going to get A squared, A squared. So E, E, C, so you get E. So no matter what power of A you use, you're only going to get E and A. So let's look at the cosets, the right cosets of H and V in this example. Um, so one coset is just H. If you look at H, A, well, A is an H, so it's the same. And you can convince yourself, right? Look, H, A, that's E, A, 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 right? You just multiply each element on the right by A. That's your right coset, H, A. So E, A is just A. A, A is A squared, which is E, so a piece of cake. So nothing new there, boring. If you look at H, B, though, H, B, that's going to be E, B, E, B, right? You just take each element and you multiply it by B on the right. And here you get A, B, okay, A, B. Well, E, B, E, B is just B, right? It's easy identity. A, B, well, you have the product of two non-identity elements, so you're going to get the other non-identity elements. You're going to get C, right? Beautiful stuff. If you do H, C, well, that would give you, we're looking here, right? So we're multiplying by C, okay? So we're going to get EC, and we're going to get AC, like air conditioning. I don't know why I thought of that. AC does not mean, well, it means air conditioning, but not in this problem. EC, EC is C, AC, that's the other non-identity element, so it's going to be B. So it's the same thing, so it's the same thing. So it looks like there's two right cosets of H and V. Those two distinct cosets would be H and HB, or H and H, HC. So those are the two cosets of um, H and V. And if you know anything about normal subgroups, you'll notice that uh, there's two of them, right? So uh, this is a normal subgroup of V. So I hope that made some sense. You can also find uh, cosets for these cyclic uh, subgroups uh, as well using the same method. So that's it.